Thanks for checking out my active campaign review where I'm going to be going over the good, the basic, and the really surprising. If you would like to test them out and find out how much you like them specifically, you can click the link down below in the description of the pinned comment to try them for free. Let's begin. So right off the bat, I think whoever designed the user interface and how you navigate around active campaigns should get a raise because for an email marketing platform that really focuses on automation and doing advanced things, they really have simplified the process. Let's start with creating a campaign or just also known as an email broadcast. Very straightforward. Let's click on create your first campaign. And there's going to be a multitude of things that you can do when sending out your campaign. It can be a standard one where it's a regular one-time email campaign, also known as a broadcast, right? You can create with AI if needed. There's split testing, there's automated, there's RSS triggered, an autoresponder, and of course, date-based, which is going to be, say, sometime in the future or on a contact's birthday, anniversaries, and so much more. Let's go with standard and click on next. And we're pretty much going step by step here. You can have your subject line, your pre-header, from name, from email. You can choose who it's going to be going out to, track the clicks, and so on and so forth. But we're going to be going to the email designer right here. And from here, you're going to like the fact that they have plenty of templates for you to utilize if that's the route you want to go. For the design templates right here, I'm going to scroll down kind of quickly so you can see all of them that you can use ultimately. Uh, in my opinion, I don't like using ones that have a lot of images. This is something I always bring up because the more images in it, the higher the chances are that your email is going to get sent to the sin bin, aka the spam box. So plenty for you to choose from. If you want to go a little bit more basic, you can go with basic templates, some of my favorites right here. But if if you want to choose one of those, you can obviously preview it or select it. There's actually one really good that's a personal template right here that I want to use. So let's go with this one. So you can edit the template with AI if you want to do that. That is currently in beta. So I'm just going to go with the email designer, which is still pretty straightforward. All right, and do you see the email editor right here? This is something that you're gonna probably wanna get very familiar with. Not only is the editor the same when you're doing kind of automations, although there's a different step, uh, it's also gonna be the same pretty much when you're creating signup forms. So you don't have to go around learning too many things. A lot of it is gonna have that clean and basic look. That can be a pro or con depending on what you're looking for. I think it's great because it allows you to kind of learn the software much quicker, and it doesn't have like a lot of these advanced bells and whistles in their editor overall. So. Uh, take that for how it is depending on how you want your editor right but if you wanted to add something in it's as simple as dragging and dropping right there obviously clicking on it adding a video and so on and so forth they do have an undo button which is fantastic i've seen editors that don't and it's kind of like pulling your hair out which is no fun uh, these are going to be all the basic blocks that you can drag and drop in there these are going to be the structures if you want to do that and anytime you want to change around your email just simply type right there and change it up right i'm sure you know how to write an email right pretty straightforward that's going to be the basics of creating an email and like i said it is pretty basic but i don't think you need anything advanced in this specific section right as long as you can do everything you need to do in terms of sending your emails setting up your automations you're going to be good and speaking of automations let's take a look at that as well all right, and there's a whole lot that you can automate with Active Campaign, even giving you some ideas here like growing audience and attracting more readers, automate backend operations, and so on and so forth. But let's start from scratch here and do create an automation. All right, and if you thought that Active Campaign was just going to be about, say, sending a follow up email like an autoresponder, well, there's going to be a whole lot more to it. Uh, I'm going to scroll down very quickly as you can see whether it's going to be engagement tagging, uh, we have tracking, abandoned carts, upgrade incentive and outreach, accessory upsell after purchase, and you see how long this little uh, box is or the dragger, the slider, right? You scroll down right here and there's just so many things that you can do. It's kind of like your world is going to be your automation oyster with active campaign. So clearly can't go through all these, probably be here for a few decades, but let's just say we want to start from scratch and we can go from there just to kind of show you the simplicity of it all. All right, and so this is gonna be where we can add a specific trigger for getting started. Keep in mind, I have five of five actions remaining for this specific automation, and that will change on a plan by plan basis. I do have the lowest plan, but if you have a little bit of a higher, you can get like unlimited in your specific automations. I'll touch upon that when we actually get to the pricing though, but it is gonna be fairly straightforward. And in my opinion, it's very similar to if you've ever created a sales funnel and kind of walk through with each landing page. Same thing here, let's do add a start trigger. And these are going to be some of the ones that you can use. And as you scroll down, if you upgrade higher, there's going to be even more that you can leverage as you can see right here. But let's say they subscribe to a list and let's say they're going to be subscribing to the master contact list. Let's do save. 
All right, just had to save that really quick. It was bothering me. OCD thing, right? So this is going to be what triggers it. And then from then on out, what you can do is send an email. You can obviously wait for a specific date or a condition. You can subscribe. You can unsubscribe. There's going to be specific actions based upon what you want to do, of course. So with contacts, apps, and suggested, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. Say like sending an email and you can create a new email or use an existing one. Say we want to create a new email here. And you can actually leverage AI if you want to do that. Or once again, you can go with the template. Let's say we do want to leverage AI. I'll show you how this works. All right, so I actually wrote a lot here, but it just talks about I want to send a welcome email that thanks them for opting in to get their free cheat sheet. I want to let them know what I'm going to be talking about in the future and so on and so forth. So let's do generate with AI. All right, so it created a subject line. We also have a pre header right here. Let's go to our preview with the edit design section. All right, so here we have an image and it says, welcome to your business growth journey. Thank you for downloading our cheat sheet. We're excited to partner and so on and so forth. Our upcoming content will dive deep in the powerful strategies for this and for that. So overall, not too bad. I would definitely format a little bit better. Just that's something I've liked doing ever since like 2012. I don't like text looking like it's a college essay. This is kind of hard to read, but if you're to space it out a little bit more, just change the font, you know, something like this, it's so much easier to digest. I typically like these shorter and choppier sentences, so I can make these a little bit shorter, but if you keep it like this, in my opinion, it's gonna look a little bit better. Just wanted to kind of give you that tip because if you have something like this, let me just show you. I've seen people, I remember back in the days of forums and like warrior forum, I think that place is still around, but I don't know how popular it is. But if I do something like this and I copy it, and let's say my email looked like this, like, would you want to read this? This is very hard to read. It's like confusing, looks like a college essay, and I can even put more text there to make it look better. So you see what I mean? You don't want it looking like this. It's just, you need line breaks. You want to space it out, look a little bit better and easier on the eyes. So overall, that was the AI email. Not too bad if that's what you're looking for. In case you didn't notice, you can change around the vibe of it. I think it was encouraging. I'd probably choose witty. That's kind of like my style, but let's do save and exit or just go back with next. All right, so we can click finish on this. All right, and as you see, that is gonna be the process when it comes to setting up automations. Now, of course, it has some suggestion next steps. If you just wanna end it right there, you can certainly do that. And there's gonna be one final step aside from adding a few more automations if needed and simply clicking on active. All right, so if you can continue through and run through the process that I just showed you with these specific automations that you want to use, I think you're going to be in good hands. And like I said previously, I think Active Campaign has done a great job in the user interface experience, allowing you for a much simpler setup to get your automations up and running much quicker. And lastly, there's also going to be forums, pages, websites, so on and so forth. So you can do that. This is going to be essential too if you want to create and capture leads. This kind of goes back into the basic category that I talked about previously. I will show you very quickly when it comes to creating a new form. And if this looks very familiar, it's because it is. So we pretty much have the same thing here where if you wanted to add some more uh, sections here under the custom fields or the standard fields. If you don't want to like use your name, you can do that as well. If you want to change around and edit anything, you can simply click right here and edit this. So highlight this, edit the text, right? And a lot of the things are going to be overall pretty standard and similar, like clicking on the submit button. You can change that as well. Going back, there's going to be like style. There's going to be options where you can actually send them. So you can just do a thank you page right here. So it kind of refreshes. It says, thanks for signing up. Check your inbox for your free gift. That's really going to allow you to get up and running very quickly because you don't even need another thank you page. However, if you wanted to do that, you can go to a different URL after they do subscribe. So you can alter that or change it around if needed. But overall, a very basic vibe where it's not gonna be winning any awards for like, oh, this is the most glorious looking thing ever, but it doesn't really need to, it gets the job done. So a quick look at the pricing also with Active Campaign. We're looking at up to 1,000 contacts, so the beginning entry level. Starter is going to be 15 a month, goes up to 49, 79, and 145. That's what it starts at. Keep in mind the price will go up as you need more contacts overall. Then as you scroll down right here, we have some uh, key features. One thing that can be kind of annoying is going to be the email sends. It goes from 10x the contact limit to 12 and 15. So this is the number of emails you can send per month. This might be a little bit limiting, especially if you're really wanting to automate 
just about everything possible, you know, with your emails. So that is something to keep in mind, depending on the plan that you have also, like you can get landing pages and you can get a few more upgrades, but overall they have some decent value here. This is just kind of like the one thing that might be a little bit annoying in my opinion, in terms of sending emails. So wrapping up my active campaign review, I got to say active campaign has been putting in the work. Uh, I really like that they've refined the user interface. It's so much easier now to get up and running. I even made a full tutorial where you can follow along with me step by step. If needed, simply leave a comment down below and I can link you to that. Circling back to the pricing very quickly, it's pretty decent for what you get, but those monthly email send limits, whether it's 10x, 12x, or 15x your contact list, yeah, that one has me scratching my head a little. But I get that it's standard in email marketing, but it still feels a little restrictive when you're trying to automate your email game to the moon. Now for the basic stuff, the form editor and email editor overall, they're straightforward, easy to grasp, and get the job done. But if you're expecting something super polished or advanced here, you might find yourself wanting a bit more. And the surprising part that I hinted at in the beginning, I sent a support ticket at 11.24, which you can see right here, I highlighted in green, and got a reply at 11.26 a.m. That is the same day, two minutes later, all right? That's not customer service, that's customer teleportation. So I want to tip my hat to Active Campaign for that because I've seen companies where you send an email and you're pretty much going to be scratching your head, when are they ever going to get back to me? This was definitely not the case. So if you're looking for a solid email marketing platform that delivers more automation, more control, and less bloat than a lot of the everything in the kitchen sink tools out there, ActiveCampaign is absolutely worth giving a try. You can check out the link in the description of the pinned comment to try it for free and see exactly what I mean. And that is going to conclude my ActiveCampaign review. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.